So, in this very special Nerd Corner, I want to talk about a show that's been a little bit bigger than the usual influences on my life. Garen Lagan. If you have heard of it, then you know what I'm about to talk about. If you haven't, well, listen. Listen carefully. This is a show, an anime, that has changed my life. Let's put it very simply. Changed my life. Done. Right there. I put it out there. There was a time in my life where I was a far less confident person than I was, you know, struck with guilts, doubts, that sort of thing. I mean, everyone has these things, and even now, to some degree, you know, those exist. But that show showed me a different way. It, it was bringing out the message that one can just try until you succeed. Who cares if you failed before a hundred times, before a thousand? Doesn't matter. You succeed based on what you do right now. And that is a message that echoes through time, if you will. It's always true. It's not about what you've done yesterday or ten days ago. It's about what you're doing right now. And that's one of the most core essences of this show. Besides all the awesome mech action and fighting and anime goodness that's all nestled in there in a 27-episode little bundle of wonder, it's chock-full of messages that you can benefit from as a person, a human being, just in general, with your life. You can take these lessons and become better than you are now. Well, that's a lot of high praise for some show, right? Yeah, yeah it is. And it stands, yeah. Um, this is a show that really takes messages and hits you with them in a manner that, holy crap, I just learned something about life. I wasn't even realizing I was learning. Now you finish with the show? Holy crap, the universe, life, all of it. I, I get it a little more. I think I'm ready to tackle everything just a little bit harder now. It's one of those kind of shows. You're done watching it and you want to jump out of your chair and point to the heavens and be like, you're next, God. Nothing's going to stop me. It's that kind of show. You want to jump up and say, everyone, you can do anything you want. Just do it. And with that kind of message, people can become better. And I know some people are going to say, well, of course, people are going to try to do bad things, too. If you're encouraging everyone to do what they want, well, then you're going to have the bad things come out, too. And yes, you are. You take that as part of the bad with the good. When you encourage everyone to try their hardest, you're going to encourage a few people who are bad to try their hardest to being bad. But you know what? We deal with that as a society. We deal with it. Move on, right? We arrest the people who commit crimes. We try to help the people who are in trouble, and we move on. We can't let, and this is the theme of the show, we can't let the fear of possible negative consequences detract from our desire to try for better things. We can't let the fear of the unknown or the fear of impossibility stop us from doing things that we think must be done. And you know what? That is also a lesson that echoes through time, through societies, as always being true. If you haven't seen the show, again, watch it. Get it. Find it. Learn from it. Watch it with an open mind. If you already tried to watch it, you didn't like it, give it another shot. You might find it's good. And if you're just one of those people who don't like the show, well, everybody has their taste, you know. That's fine. You don't have to like it. I think it was a phenomenal, wonderful little bundle of storytelling that everyone should watch. So, this ain't something to think about. Get out there. Go watch it. Go. Stop watching this.